So uh, I don't know if that makes any sense at the moment, but once I start coding this, you will see what I mean. So first up, once again, we want to create the roles. And there is something I want to change about the roles, just to make sure that they fit in with the overall naming convention. I used to have guest user and admin, but the problem with that is it sounds uh, way too much uh, like the name of the modules. For example, admin. We have an admin module. So we need to have admins group and it makes sense because we have more than one person in a group. So we want to adjust the rest of accordingly. But if you remember the um, role names come from the database. So we just want to quickly adjust those role names. And you don't have to do this at all. This is uh, just my personal way of doing things but I think this is a good idea to keep the group names plural okay so this way when we log in through Zend auth the role names will coincide with the um, roles in here and once again we are going to inherit each one from above okay so Rolls the back together. Okay, now we're going to take care of our resources. ACL has an inheritance feature that we all know of by now, and it can go two levels deep. It can't go more than that, it can go one or two, so two levels deep. Uh, so we can take advantage of that. Uh, what we can do is to create a resource that can handle the module as a whole, and then each controller in the module is going to be a second level uh, below that parent one. Uh, so hopefully once I type this out it will make sense. I'm going to create a resource for library module as a whole now. So that's an ACL resource for library. So uh, I can set permissions or whatever to library and it's going to be applied automatically to all of the other resources that are underneath the library that I will set. To set those resources I will use the naming convention I talked about before, the colon separated one. So I will add another resource underneath that one and I will call it library books like that and I'm going to inherit that from library. So here we go. I created a top level resource for library and then I created another resource that inherits from here called library books. So the problem with that is that our URI obviously doesn't have the colon, it has a slash. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust our plugin to work accordingly. We want the module name with a column and then a resource. So first we've got to grab the module name and that's pretty simple. And then we are going to go here and like that. So now our module colon resource coincide with the ECL resource or the module colon controller coincides with the ACL's resource and then the action is going to be the privilege and just to show you what these parameters are indeed the first one is the role so who we are then the resource, which happens to be the combination of module and controller, and the privilege I decided to be the action. So in that manner, uh, let's continue doing the rest of it. I will now create the admin. 
ACL resource for admin and to that I want to add an admin book that's going to be my re second resource that is a part of the main admin resource okay now here is the big difference remember how in the simple non-modular controller action I would put the action as yet another resource um, so I would actually do something like um, just to give you an example I would do something like add and I would inherit it from book well that is the con that is the resource that would happen to be the same as the action name now we are making the action as a part of a privilege and we're going to set the privileges up later so right now we're just taking care of the resources and that's strictly module plus the controller name um, now here's the interesting one, the default one even though the Zen controller skips out the name default in the URI we do have to include it everywhere else because the other modules don't know about the namespace of the default being empty string so here we go, the default module is being created in the resources and now we are going to create then another resource Uh, for authentication because remember the authentication is a part of the default module authentication I'm gonna inherit from default okay and we'll do the same for index and error okay so that's our resources set out now we're going to do privileges and the privileges are going to be set based on the combination of the role and these resources we created uh, the privileges are set through allow so allow uh, guests remember we are doing from the lowest privilege the one to the top so that the inheritance permissions are applied properly and we are allowing guests to do login on the authentication so here's, what we, here's what's happening uh, let's go back to the plugin here we get in a role which happens to be guest if we're not logged in that's it here, that's our role here that uh, guest user is trying to access the resource module colon resource or actually module colon uh, controller, I should probably change the names so that I don't confuse myself but anyway, uh, this is the resource it's trying to access and then the third parameter is what it is trying to do on that resource and it happens to be a login so we are allowing the authenticate we are allowing the guest to perform a login uh, privilege on the default authentication resource we created earlier once again we are just playing around with names this does not mean that ACL is actually interacting with the uh, MVC structure we are creating all of these naming schemes by ourselves